Hello, welcome. I'm Jo Bendel, and my next guest at the Productivity Party is Aranyani Harding. Aranyani is an alchemist and dream weaver dedicated to helping women achieve their ultimate vision. So, welcome, lovely lady. Um, first off, is your tip in relation to fun, fast, or on target today? On target. On target. It's so important. Okay, so I'm going to put the time, and we've got three minutes um, for you to share your juicy tips. Go for it. Okay, um, the key to achieving any dream or balance um, vision that you have is to be in balance. And we can get out of balance for various ways, So, our, and our chakras are key functioning in that. So, for example, if our um, solar plexus chakra is out of balance and we, um, we lack the will to move forward or to make the decisions to, the confidence to take that leap and go for it, and, um, and then... Uh, so that can affect our productivity, obviously, because we don't have that confidence in ourselves to go forward and make the steps and the decisions that we need to do to achieve what we wanted to achieve. Uh, similarly, um, it, it can also affect our health. So um, all the chakras do affect our health. So with the so sticking with the um, solar plexus chakra, it affects your digestion. So people, are hit, like it's a big problem, particularly uh, with, among women in today's society, is the rise in gastrointestinal. Uh, dysfunction and it is that whole staying in your power rather than giving it away to other people and have standing in your truth and that confidence so obviously with any chronic or long-term illness it does affect your ability and your will <laughs> to um, achieve what you want to achieve um, so yeah and then with your heart chakra if that's out of balance or luck that's your ability to love and receive so many people can, if you're giving all the time to people, but you have this blockage and so you're not receiving, so you get out of balance. And then you feel like, you know, you just get really depleted and drained and then you go into yourself and you retreat uh, from yeah. the world. And you, yeah. And uh, I can keep going on other chakras. So, so what's, what's, the, um, what's, the, um, what's the sort of, what's a top tip then that we can do to, to, to get more in balance? I mean, do we need to pick one chakra? How does it work? Well, it's good to balance. You, you need to have them all balanced, but you can, um, often people have one that, or two, a couple of the other, I guess their problem or areas that tend to go out of whack quickest or most. Um, and the good way to, top tip to bring any and all uh, chakras into balance is to spend time out in nature. Okay, so really connect with the earth. Okay, and like every day. Okay. Every day, particularly people, um, if they worry about money and finances and what they're going, is to go sit outside on the grass and just imagine roots sprouting from your bottom. Okay, okay. and that'll really ground you and center you um, so that you can go forward. Cool. Yeah. Okay. You've got 20 seconds left. Anything you'd wanted to share? Last tips? <laughs> Um, other, other tips is you can use the power of crystals as well. So each chakra has there's different gemstones that activate and balance your chakras. So, um, and color therapy as well. So just if you've got a, your solar plexus is out of balance, for instance, just channel the yellow color yellow and look oh, at the sun. Like, don't okay. look at the sun. Cool. Yeah, the warm sun energy on your solar plexus will help um, charge that and balance to keep you. Thank strong. you. I feel like. <laughs> This is a topic we need more than three minutes for. <laughs> I've got so many. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah absolutely. But it's so important that, um, that we are in balance. If we want to grow our businesses, it's so important that we're in balance. And, and I can relate to, I have digestive issues, so I can relate to it. And it does totally impact my productivity. Um, and I'm aware of it, but um, yeah, it's fascinating. So if anybody would like to find out more about this um, this topic, then I will link to Aranyana's website. Um, and I just wanted to say thanks so much for coming to the party, getting involved and sharing your juicy tips with us to help us you know, be on, on fire in our business. So thank you. Thank you so much for having me and happy birthday. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>